All right, people, Max Salden here again, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring. So I'm at Mogwin's Palace, unfortunately, still have to wait another month for the DLC to come out. This is my old character, I was just making sure I have them just positioned outside what we pretty much knew was going to be the DLC entrance. Uh, and I thought I'd do a just little quick short video today uh, to talk about uh, the new trailer that came out. It's mainly a CGI story trailer, but I thought it looked pretty nice. Uh, great art direction, great style, really got me hyped for the game overall, which I think you know is an important task for the marketing material. Uh, really nice music in the trailer as well, and again, it just reinforces some of the story details about Mikola and how they've fled to like this shadow land. And some other soldiers and troops and stuff followed them there. And we also heard a bit more about this uh, Miesmer, the Impaler. Probably butchered his name. Uh, but we heard more about the destruction caused by that character. Who seems like they're going to be the main boss of the DLC. And uh, yeah, not a lot else to talk about really. Just a lot of good visuals and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to show any footage from the trailer. So pretty sure Namco Bandai would just be like, uh, yeah, that's ours, please uh, don't use it in your video. Even though I would just be talking over it. Uh, but I, yeah, I'll just use some uh, of my Elden Ring footage from my character who's on my uh, like third playthrough, I think, that I started uh, a few days ago. Uh, I'm in Rea Lucaria, uh, the second sort of area. Uh, well, this isn't Rhea Lucaria, this is a random uh, one of the catacombs where the Black Knight, uh, Black Knife, uh, one of the assassins is hiding out. So I was just doing that today. And I've also got the other boss of this area who is not as hard as the Black Knife uh, at all. They're just a shadow warrior or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's just what this character's doing. And again, uh, just overall really excited for the DLC. Uh, I am hoping it's going to be worth the uh, sort of 35 uh, 35 quid pi price tag that's on it. It's the most expensive DLC from software's ever done. They have put two years into the making of this DLC. So uh, hopefully it is worth it and it is a like pretty large expansion of the size of maybe uh, Phantom Liberty for Cyberpunk last year. Hopefully if it's that size I'll be pretty pleased with it. Although having said that Phantom Liberty cost uh, 25 quid instead of 35 so the Elden Ring DLC's uh, like 10 quid uh, pricier than it. So maybe it's a bit bigger than the Phantom Liberty DLC. Very different games of course. But that's just the most recent expansion that I bought for any other game, so I guess that's why I'm comparing them. Uh, okay, I kind of got stuck behind this crab trying to get out this gate. I was trying to burn him for a while there, but my skills with magic are pretty lacking. So I didn't really know any good spells to use against the crab. Uh, I'm hoping like there's a lot of new, fresh enemies in the... Uh, in the DLC and that they don't reuse too many from the base game um, and yeah I'm looking forward to the bosses the most I think like most people there's apparently 10 new bosses or well like 10 main ones that they've like announced to us I wouldn't be surprised if there were like five or six other little hidden bosses or mini bosses and stuff like that and hopefully it's just a very densely packed DLC and I'm really looking forward to uh, June now, and I can't wait to play it. And until then, I'm gonna stick to my uh, second playthrough or third playthrough, and just see if I can get up to Mogwin's Palace again with this character. So, just in case you have to have like a lower level character or something, and my original overpowered character <laughs> is banned from the DLC or something, they've never done anything like that. But there's always a first time, so better be prepared. <laughs> Alright people, thanks for watching.